Welcome to Galloway on the most beautiful sunny day. I'm just about to go and open up the um, second kiln firing, so fingers crossed. This looks a whole lot better than the last one, doesn't it? Yeah. Much hotter in the front. I wonder what the back's yeah. like. It's really melted to the shelves <laughs> <laughs> again. Looks good. Okay, the door is down, under fire at the bottom still. It's a real problem that bottom, isn't it? Getting the temperature up there. Looks pretty lovely throughout the rest of it there. In the front, certainly I can't see through to the back. These are all from the top shelf at the front of the kiln. Nice um, sheen to the naked clay, where it's got good and hot. I think your plates might be nice. It's definitely better for more temperature, isn't it? Yeah, a lot. Look at that. Really lovely. So the next shelf down, a lot of notes. Got some nice colours in them. Little bowl. It's a bit of cleaning. Nice glaze effect on these. So much richer than oops. <laughs> and if they'd have gone through the electric kiln. ring. Yeah, that got warm, didn't it? <laughs> so 
sweet. Nicely toasted clay. Got a nice bit of uh, iridescence here where the flame's gone through. Yeah. Made, thrown, and decorated on the wheel as soon as it was thrown. Works well, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of works. These big two handled pots are lovely. That's interesting. And they are going off to the barony, aren't they? Uh, one is, yeah. One's going to the barony, and the other one's going with you to Earth and, Earth and Fire, Rufford, Rufford this weekend. Sweet. Yeah, that jug's been sheltered a bit from the flame, hasn't it? Tucked in behind those jars. Yeah. But it's alright. Mm Because a whopper. Kind of olive green. And lustrous. Look all right, and it's not uh, in a dark shed. Mm. Yeah, each panel looks like it's slightly different from the next, which is really nice. Yeah, I need to get it in the sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty yeah. fab. I'm pleased with that. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah. I haven't made a big jug like that for a long time, so. Good to be getting my brain back in. It's lovely from the top as well. Those, um, it looks kind of um, pumpkin-like from the, mm -hmm. you know, if you look down on it. Different segments. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's all right. Now. Yeah. Some more of them. <laughs> ridiculous cockerel dish. That is ridiculous. Wow. Nice. Ridiculous. A bit bloody lovely. Mm, that's a crazy looking beast, that cockerel, but nice how it's taken a good blast from the flame on this rim. And good colouring to the clay. Yep, quite pleased with that, in spite of the insanity of that crazy looking creature. Floor very under fired still, isn't it? Not as bad as it was. Not as bad as it was, but it's still not good enough, is it? Really, we've got probably three out of six pieces there that are all right. I mean, that stupid money box all <laughs> the birds on it went in pretty crazy anyway, didn't it? So I think it's too, just too chocker here, though. Yeah, it's a bit too tight, isn't it? Yeah. Flame can't get through. I'm just trying to put too much in it, I think. <laughs> and the jug at the back. Uh, it's gone, it looks pretty muddy, doesn't it? That needs a refire. I think if it's refired, that will brighten up mm. into something more interesting. Mm. 
Nice. Sweet. Yeah, really. <laughs> Yeah. It's hot on one side pots. Isn't Lovely. It? Yeah, really sweet. Just a bit ridiculous. This is based on one of the old um, country pottery money boxes that uh, they used to have three separate chambers for pounds, shillings, and pence. Um, got the glaze on it a bit thin and it's mighty under fired, so I might go to spot more glaze and put it back through. Or I might just bury it in the ditch. <laughs> Tones of green, hasn't it? Oh, treacle. <laughs> yeah, nice. I can tell he was in a wood kiln. Uh, <laughs> it looks a bit like a toad from here. Oh, I know. Don't say that. Also, Reptilian. Don't it's a very muddy looking green. It's very strange. Oh my goodness. Well, he's got a front and a back to him, that's for sure. I don't know, I'll have to get another oh. light and see whether he needs a refire. I don't know, maybe he's quite interesting, actually. God, it is. <laughs> Blimey. Uh, How many different pots in one thing? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. I'll try to think about that. That looks quite interesting, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's a pot you'd love or hate, but if you love it, you'll love it. If you hate it, mind you. Feels nice. Quite interesting, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, really nice. Yeah, character pot. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. It's got a great pair there. So there we go, that's the front of the kiln unpacked. This goes from the very top here to the next shelf down here and then so on through the middle of the kiln. These, that was quite high up at the front, wasn't it? That, mm. that and Mr. Crazy Rooster. And then these were on the floor. So, pretty good, I mm. think. Yeah. A lot better than last time. Mm, definitely. It's going to be interesting to mix the um, the jugs or the pots from the two firings together, because that's when they really come to life. <laughs> <laughs>